Wow, it's time for another show full of tips and ideas from the sales growth leadership expert, Dean Akers. Known for his experience in hyper-growing companies and creating cultures for high-performance teams, here's Dean. Well, welcome to episode 61. Uh, it, uh, we've just continued to break records. I'm, I'm so excited about all the people that are downloading our show and I, I, I hopefully that we're downloading because it's really helping you. Uh, last week's show, Brushing Your Teeth, Creating Successful Habits, has really done well. I've had a lot of uh, comments of people reaching back at dean at deanacres.com and letting me know how they feel or questions they have. So uh, today's show is going to be kind of interesting because as you know, most of my shows, all my shows actually come from some event or some craziness that's happened in the previous week. And um, this week was like a culmination of, of just events that made me reflect back on the past and then also um, look at what happened this week and, and want to share with each of you out there today. Um, today's show is follow your passion and never work another day in your life. And uh, one of the things that's been a real mission for me over the years has uh been to help people discover their passion and monetize it and i tell this because it's i'd I'd like to tell you it was well thought out of but it really predicated on my sons and i'll i'll share with you two quick stories of 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 my two oldest sons how it worked Uh, my um uh oldest son uh is uh his passion has always been uh kind of theme parks roller coasters uh he worked at bush gardens uh, when he was a very young man, and he worked there so he could go ride roller coasters. He uh, helped his his uh, mother and I with uh, uh, the the uh, carnivals that we used to hold for our church, and it was just you couldn't get him away from the place. All four days he was there, and uh, so we encouraged him to follow his passion. And people would kind of go, "Well, you can't make money." with roller coasters and stuff. I mean, it's kind of the jobs he had was all labor jobs. Well, I can tell you today, he followed his passion. He went to school, got a degree in, I call it theme parks at UCF. Uh, He went on to take his degree and has worked with different parks. And and his two most recent uh, 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 adventures really share with how this works. So he went a number of years ago to Singapore for Universal to open up Universal in Singapore, where he stayed six or seven years. And uh, and I, I laugh because I went to visit with him and you could just see the electricity in his eyes of, 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 of the passion of working in a theme park. I mean, he just, I joke with people, I speak to CEO groups, I say, you know how hard Doug worked? And everybody goes, man, he must have really busted his butt. And I said, honestly, I could say he'd never worked a day in his life. I mean, I've had people come up to me and tell me how he go, went to trade shows back early on out of his own pocket. So he developed his passion, and today he's opened up Universal in Beijing, China. What an experience. He's one of the executives opening up Be- Universal in Beijing, China. He's getting to deal with things that most people could never dream of, and it's all by following his passion. My second son today has a big deal going on with his business where he sells parts for custom cars, um, specifically BMWs and Mini Coopers. And while that's appropriate, is when a young man, he used to have custom cars. He had little cars everywhere. His just passion was cars. And so he and I flew out to California. Uh, I told him, let's go see the people that are the best in the business in custom cars who is it? And he says, I know dad who it is. And I said, well, let's go see him. So we flew out without an appointment and went to LA. We rented a car and we went to this place. I didn't know what it was. We pull up and it, it's in kind of the hood in East LA. And, and uh, we, we walk in and, and these people go, what are you doing here? And I said, well, this is my son's passion is custom cars. He says, you're the best. I said, let's go meet the best. And he was, I don't know, he was 15 at the time. I don't remember. And, and let's go meet the best so you can really understand what the best do so you can one day maybe follow your passion. Well, it was such a hoot because these people looked at us like we were crazy. And maybe we were. 
and they and this is how stuff works when you start following your passion how fate works so they said well hey you're not allowed in here you can go outside so we're sitting outside he's looking at cars that are on the road there in this bad area now where did we go i never heard of it but it was a place called west coast customs that's right west coast customs the place that does pimp my ride and out of that we got uh we met a lady that pulled up uh when she was we were sitting there and a lady pulled up in the yellow cab and we started talking to her and next thing you know we were inside we got the tour and other, everything else and she was director of vice president vp of hot wheels cars long story short is just fate when you start really taking ownership and just just going and doing it with your passion will will kick in today dustin's in and to you know disassembles mini coopers and uh bmw's custom bmw's and sells parts all over the world so he's following his passion so i meet parents all the time and parents are always telling me oh well, i gotta get my kid i hope he be this or that or this or that and the parents are trying to pigeonhole them into i think where they want them and i go but what's their passion and they tell me consistently well their passion is this but dean i'm trying to get them away from that because you can't make money doing that and i go really really so i want to tell you one of um, my friends was telling me about his son and this is a story to this week that just totally blew me away it just is why i get up bed in the morning it's why i do these podcasts just hoping that i can turn one person on and make their life better that's my passion is watching people get turned on to their passions and just get excited about their uh, opportunities every day as i do so i got a chance to have breakfast with this young man and this young man um his dad says he he does youtube videos well he does but he has no viewers uh he has a small little youtube channel so i went to it and i looked at it and this was so cool. He, 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 he takes movies and he draws uh, a, a movie, a, a kind of a plaque of the movie with characters and stuff. And then he time lapses it. And then he does a review of the movie in that time lapse, an overlay of his voice. He has great voice, great radio voice. And it's just so cool. And it has so many legs. Now, that's not the cool thing. So we're sitting there. This gentleman's going to school, and uh, he's a big guy. I think he's a good-looking guy. He's a confident guy. We're sitting there, and he looks at me, and he goes, Dean, all I am is a big fucking nerd. I'm just a big fucking nerd. And I went, oh, my God. That's it. That's it. We're going to take everything you're passionate about Put it back into the con context of you being a big fucking nerd. Are there any other nerds in this planet? And the answer is yes. They're not really nerds, but people think they're nerds. There's a whole s slew of people, probably the things he does, people would say as nerdy. But we went online right then and ordered, we ordered, well, we Googled first and found out that the domain name bigfuckingnerd.com we got that domain name so I go OMG sitting there at the restaurant we're going to brand out all this cool stuff you do and we're going to brand it out as the big fucking nerd we'll get YouTube we'll do the social medias we'll build out a website we're going to get you because you speak to and understand the feelings and that we're going to create a bigger brand out of this what do you think? This guy's so excited. And I said, now this is going to be your J-O-B, your job. You're going to work a certain amount of time every day on building out your brand of bigfuckingnerd.com. So I am so excited for this young man. I just got an email from him. And he's excited. We're going to make this big for him. Now, there's I can tell you story after story. I had a woman that plays music in Tampa. We kept talking, and she 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 was uh you know what do we need to do uh we got her to crowdfund she produced her first cd and now she's now she's out in um la you know doing music big time so it's all about taking your passion 
believing that you can monetize your passion. And you can always monetize your passion. Always. And so when people say, you look at, go get a job, it doesn't mean that you have to go get a job. Look at something in the space of your passion. As my oldest son, his passion was roller coasters. His first job was working as labor at, at Bush Gardens. That was the start of him following his passion. So your passion is not always about being an executive that day. You can do your passion through writing. You can do your passion now with social media. And I am just so excited for this young man. I mean, if for, for us to have that gotcha moment, for him to now taking ownership that he can develop this brand, that he can monetize this brand, there's so many cool things to come out of this that it's unbelievable. And he's excited about it. I'm excited about it. And what, we, what it proves again is if you can just start peeling the onion back, start really talking out loud. If you need, call me, call me. Or email me first at dean at deanacres.com and I'll set up an appointment. I mean, I made an appointment this week and talked to somebody and her passion was cats. And she makes this really cool cat device and we're helping her with that. So reach out to me. Take your passion and monetize it. So this week, I want you, if you're happy with your job, don't worry about it. If you've always said, I really want to try something new, start writing down your passion and then start Googling where things work to monetize that passion. And if you want, you can reach out to me at dean at deanacres.com and I'll help you because this is my passion. It's helping you discover your passion. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. Subscribe today to our podcast and send questions or thoughts to help at deanacres.com. Also, visit us at www.deanacres.com to listen to prior shows and view helpful videos. Also, great tips to download. Thanks again. See you next week.